AH has filed counterclaims, which is legitly what it sounds like. A counterclaim by plaintiff AH by counsel, hereby asserting the following counterclaim against defendant Johnny Depp. So AH currently thinks she's owed $100 million. Why? Because Depp asked for 50 And that anyone choosing Johnny Depp's side over hers, they can't be real human beings. Oh no, they have to be bots. And not only bots, oh, they have to be from a certain country. Where's that country again? Oh yeah, that's right. Moreover, she says that all of these actions, they're a violation of the Virginia Computer Crimes Act. So lock him up and lock up Adam Waldman. You know, because again army of bots, and they're leading this. I mean, how insane does that sound? All these details and so much more are housed within AH's counterclaims, and that's what you and I are going to look at today. Yep, better get those seatbelts ready, because it's going to be an interesting ride. So hey there, now before we get started, there's a couple of things you should know about this document. Wait, don't stare. Is AH looking in the window again? Hmm, just give me a second. Gotta close the blinds. All right, so hey there again. Now two things about this document. Number one, 93 pages long, so we'll hit it all at a live stream, but we'll catch a lot in this video. And number two, if it comes to certain details, well, this platform doesn't like certain wording, so those words will change. Not my fault, the platform. Now, what's both fascinating and infuriating about counterclaims is the fact that many things you have seen, many innocuous things, they are weaponized to make up a story. For example, you hear about private messages to friends where Johnny Depp, he's blowing off steam about AH after fights, and apparently those aren't messages. Those are threats, and those threats, they're realized in the form of, well, DV. That DV, she basically, she has to escape the marriage, and the only way she does that is by getting her DVRO from the California court, and Mr. Depp, he's not satisfied with allowing her to move on with her life. Instead, he continued to see the word there, victimize her by repeatedly telling friends in profanity-laced messages that he would destroy her, would never stop, and wanted her replaced on upcoming films. She says her words. That's what this frivolous lawsuit is about. It's continuing that cycle. Not content to let a jury decide this lawsuit, Mr. Depp and or his agents acting on his behalf have orchestrated a false and defamatory smear campaign against AH that has included false and defamatory statements to reporters, repeatedly accusing AH of being a liar and a hoax artist, and accusing AH of the crime of perjury. This stream of false and defamatory accusations against AH is an all-in attempt to ruin her life and her career, simply because she was the victim of DV at the hands of Johnny Depp. She says that's because she had the audacity and the temerity to finally come forward and end this cycle. In AA, she had been a victim throughout the relationship and during these ensuing attacks by Mr. Depp. Through this counterclaim, AH is finally, after all these years, fighting back. AH asked the court to hold Mr. Depp fully and finally accountable for his conduct and to end all of this cycle, lodge from a position of wealth and power. Again, paraphrased in that, but man, what a story. What a story indeed. Now, after the parties and the jurisdiction are listed, we get into the quote-unquote facts, and the quote-unquote facts are very interesting. Five, for example, talks about the DVRO, talks about photographs and affidavits that were showcased, again, spinning the idea that it was him, not her, that did all of this stuff. Since this time, she goes on, Mr. Depp is unlawfully targeted AH in an ongoing harassment and online smear campaign in order to damage her both reputationally and financially. She wasn't doing that, of course. No way. No way indeed. In particular, but without limitation, Mr. Depp has initiated, coordinated, overseen, and or supported and amplified two Change.org petitions. Hmm. One to remove AH as an actress from Aquaman movie franchise and one to remove her as a spokesman from L'Oreal. It's fascinating isn't it? He is the one coordinating this, not angry consumers that are out there seeing how 
how this is playing out. No, this is all an attack, and it's attack orchestrated by. Now, as early as 2016, Mr. Depp admitted his attention for destroying her career, stating, for example, that he wanted her replaced on that Warner Brothers film, referencing the blockbuster hit Aquaman. To accomplish this task, he, individually and through his representatives and agents in Virginia, have created, coordinated, controlled, and or manipulated social media accounts created specifically for the purpose of targeting AH, computer-controlled social media accounts, and or groups of inauthentic accounts controlled by a single agent to amplify content misleadingly, a.k.a. Everybody that supports him, they are all bots, and they're all bots that are led by a single individual, either Johnny Depp or Adam Waldman. That's what they're going to say here. These accounts exhibit behavior, which includes but is not limited to the following. They have high tweet-to-retweet ratios and numbers, implausible for authentic human users. They are created, attack AH, and then are set to inactive to avoid suspension. They utilize common language, patterns, and timing, indicating broad core coordination, they often offer little or no personal information, suggesting computer-controlled or single individual controlling more than one account at the time, or often many more, and they republicize the content of one another at rates and consistencies that belie authentic human control. Again, show me your face, and if you don't, you're a bot. Not only a bot, but they'll get into what kind of bot. So, these accounts are designed to damage AH and are lives livelihood without being directly traceable to Mr. Depp. Now here they go into the Aquaman franchise. They say, for example, it appears that a significant number of these accounts signing the petition to remove AH from the Aquaman franchise are conspicuously fake or highly suspicious. And now, fake signatures that's well above the skill set of the average internet troll or disgruntled fan. They reflect a concerted effort to damage AH. In addition, the Change.org petitions were modified to make it appear that far more people signed the petitions than actually did. Again, as I said in another video, more people have signed one of those petitions, the one to remove her from Aquaman 2, than live in the 20th largest city in the United States, Washington, D.C. That's right. Insane, isn't it? Now, as part of his online smear campaign, Mr. Depp and or his agents acting on his behalf have directed both authentic and inauthentic social media accounts and or non-human controlled bots to target AH's Twitter account and attempt to interfere with contracts and or business expectancies. In particular, many of these accounts both smear and harass AH while simultaneously promoting and praising Mr. Deb's agent and attorney, Adam Waldman. You can tell, too, they dislike Adam Waldman quite a bit. The talking points in these accounts are strikingly similar but use slightly different text and content to evade Twitter Twitter's anti-spam and platform manipulation guidelines, which bars harassing, abusive, and intimidating behavior except, quote, when viewed in the context of a larger conversation. A herd mentality helps mask predatory behavior. That's predatory behavior, they say. I mean, think about that. And again, wasn't a problem in 2018 when tens of thousands of people were trying to get someone removed from a Harry Potter film. But hey, now it's all bots. They go on into this too. Talking about signatures, check this out. There are a number of newly created foreign language accounts specifically or predominantly designed to damage AH. Many of these accounts have, hmm, look at the signature accounts, reflecting what type of origin? Russian origin. That's right. Mr. Waldman, Mr. Depp's attorney and agent, is publicly associated with Russian individuals with the capability to organize such attacks. Hmm. Then they go on to specific accounts that they don't like. And this tells you that they are indeed paying attention not only to the change.org petitions, but also to specific users out there. So if you catch this video, hey, enjoy this document. So to Two accounts, they list them here, are responsible for approximately 50% of that targeted, we're going to call it, traffic on AH. The My Grindenwald account uses its platform to amplify anti-AH hashtags and false information being disseminated about AH. It has also amplified the change.org petition described above, repeating the calls for AH to lose contracts or business expectancies. And as evidence of its origin, it routinely 
routinely tweets the statements of Mr. Depp's agent and attorney, Mr. Waldman, on a near daily basis and often praises otherwise unknown attorney, even going as far as to say, I love you, Waldman. You know what's funny is one simple thing will undo this. Contact Adam Waldman if you're willing to put your identity out there and blow this thing apart. That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? In total, there are at least dozens, if not hundreds, of inauthentic accounts that impugn A.H. while praising Mr. Waldman. These messages further evidence the uh, origin of Mr. Depp's unlawful campaign and demonstrates that these inauthentic accounts are actively coordinating content to manipulate the Twitter platform and avoid detection. Now here, these are examples of what this is supposed to look like. Depp soldier, uh uh-uh, fake person. Depp head, uh uh-uh, fake person. Perspective Depp, uh uh-uh, fake person. And you see how they're going with this. It's absolutely insane to go there. But hey, they don't stop there. Then they decide that they're going to take a shot at the International Business Times. And Catherine, I'm going to mess up her name, so I'm just going to call her Catherine A., her writing articles. Why? Because they don't write enough other types of articles. Apparently, they only write about certain types of enhancement. And, well, we're going to say ED there. While publishing 30 negative articles about AH in February alone. It makes me want to do even more videos, by the way, seeing this, because it's funny. Mr. Depp, through his agents and attorneys in Virginia, including specifically Waldman, have engaged in a campaign to harass, damage AH through the use of computers and computer accessible vehicles. What what is that, by the way? This campaign of harassment is consistent with comments Mr. Depp made to friends regarding his attention to ruin A.H.'s career or worse. Now this, these are the text messages that she talked about at the beginning, too. I'm not going to read them, but just freeze frame this. Imagine somebody has been doing some of the stuff we saw from 2013. You're venting to a friend. What would you say? These were the worst examples of anything that they they could find out there. Those vile contents, they say, from Mr. Depp continued and laid the crown work for a smear campaign. He spearheads today, so he's spearheading all of this and reveal Mr. Depp's true personality filled with anger, hatred, and violence. This document is going to stick with a lot of text, too, and it's because they're trying to build a foundation, saying that Mr. Depp is an istophobe. Basically, he likes his lady subservient. They said this in the Johnny Depp versus the Sun libel trial. Southern gentleman is code for something that, well, it's something really, really dark, let's just say. So you can see 19, 21, 22, 23, they all go around talking about the text. And then, importantly, this lawsuit is the linchpin in a scheme to destroy A.H.'s career. As this court well knows, a California court awarded A.H. a DVRO against Mr. Depp in 2016. Their contentious divorce generated extensive press coverage. Indeed, it is part of Mr. Depp's narrative that A.H. quote-unquote lied about being abused by Mr. Depp and that A.H. referenced this uh, implicitly in her 2018 op-ed to somehow gain notoriety, never mind that public opinion has never rewarded a woman for telling her story of surviving DV. Oh yeah, indeed. She wasn't an ACLU spokesman for all women after all. That stuff, ah, it's just made up. To keep the same story from growing stale after four years of coverage, an eternity in celebrity news cycle requires more than an errant link. By filing this case and his companion case against the Sun newspaper in the UK, Mr. Deb gives this four-year-old drama new legs. Every filing, every hearing, every piece of evidence leaked by his team, not popularly produced in uh, Discovery, is another opportunity to ma- remain relevant as a star otherwise wanes. So somebody that wrote an op-ed about this kind of stuff wants to talk about someone else trying to keep their career from waning. I see. This is not a characterization. Mr. Depp's team has freely admitted it on the record in this case. Without this case, Mr. Depp attempts to keep this matter in the press would amount 
amount to nothing more than a four-year-old stale story that has been rehashed ad nauseum. He would wholly unable to generate any interest from the public and thus without recourse to pursue his bitter obsession with destroying A.H. Movie studios and brands do not tend to care about issues they have no reason to think the public cares about. But if Mr. Depp can generate the impression that viewers and consumers do care by fomenting a fantasy of online outrage and hatred for A.H. and its relevance animated by press coverage and quote-unquote news around this case, his fixation can continue to gain ground. Now, what's astounding about that is this, it casually dismisses hundreds of thousands of people as being fake. There are plenty of people out there that have voiced their concerns, but hey, all of you, you're fake news. You're all fake news. So Mr. Depp's out-of-court use of this lawsuit as the basis for the conduct I allegedly herein is manifest. Rather than simply allowing this lawsuit to be fairly tried within the bounds of law and proper ethical and professional court procedures, Mr. Depp is elected through his agents to attack A.H. about this lawsuit and about the judicial actions she took against him for D.V. with vulgar and profane threats and language in an attempt to damage her career. Again, because, hey, some account out there says it, it has to be Johnny Depp's fault. This conduct also has the potential effect of polluting the jury pool who will decide the actual issues and dispute in this lawsuit. Hmm. Mr. Depp, through his agents and attorneys, have also attempted to intimidate and threaten witnesses. So it goes through witnesses there to attempt to influence their testimony in a manner adverse to A.H., claiming that they will have to spend significant sums for attorneys if they do not cooperate and sign declarations prepared by Waldman, suggesting that without their cooperation, people will be arrested and charged with crimes and the like. Now, you remember the secret recording that I showcased in a their video. That's the kind of stuff that they're talking about. You know, because hey, that works out there. Mr. Depp, through his agents and attorneys, have also uh, prepared declarations uh, with the caption from this litigation and released these to the press, suggesting that these were declarations filed in the court and used these proceedings in an attempt to manipulate the press and mislead the public. Now, that exists as shots fired at Jennifer Howe, because Jennifer Howe has said some things that were very damning to them. Now, another thing that they talk about is Instagram. Instagram is big, apparently, because when Mr. Depp, he joined it, apparently that wasn't just joining. Oh, no, that was a thing that launched an account with a million bots. Although a typical user, even a celebrity, typically builds up a follower base rather slowly, Mr. Depp reported that he has over 176,000 followers within 15 minutes and 3 million followers within 24 hours of joining Instagram. Unsurprisingly, Mr. Depp's first video message on Instagram addressed A.H. in this lawsuit. (laughs) Not really. Not really, but okay. Again, while Mr. Depp's decision to join Instagram is not the basis for A.H.'s counterclaim, it's further evidence that his unlawful conduct described herein is part of a concerted effort to harm A.H. and his use of fake accounts to bolster his follower numbers is further evidence of the sophistication that Mr. Depp and his agents have employed to engage in the unlawful conduct described herein. Now, then they get into the GQ coverage. And I thought that this was fascinating because GQ coverage was bad, but the Rolling Stones doing character assassination for Depp, that was okay. But they're talking about that in depth. You can see all of this discussion through here. It's talking about that. And I would say that you should look at that there. She also then, 37, starts talking about the op-ed in the Washington Post calling for changes to laws and rules and social norms so that women who come forward to talk about, well, DV, receive more support. She warned that such reform is necessary because powerful men who have been accused of DV will spare nothing to punish and harass their accusers. She says that this is accurate. This is true. And it's plainly plainly a public concern, so she's not doing anything wrong. 
After all, unlike Depp's GQ article, AH's op-ed, it doesn't mention Depp at all. So she goes on through this, playing that game. In fact, her point about powerful men accused of DV, sparing nothing to punish and harass their accusers, that was proven by the defamation lawsuit. That's not going out and trying to clear your name. No, that's something else altogether. Depp's defamation harassment of A.H. did not stop when he filed his lawsuit, she continues. In fact, it has continued through the present as Depp has authorized and conspired with his attorney, Adam Waldman, to attempt to destroy and defame A.H. and the press, accusing her of being a serial liar who created the abuse she endured from Depp, which is not true. Then they go through Adam Waldman. Man, they hyper-obsess about Adam Waldman, too. They talk about his Twitter timeline. It's insane. And not only that, he's being targeted by their followers now. They actually went out, flagged down his account. He's been down for days, so if that tells you anything about it. Then it continues. Contrary to his allegations and efforts to rewrite history, Depp did, in fact, engage in acts of DV against a A.H. and A.H. did not perjure herself, fabricating evidence, defrauding, or creating a hoax. Depp's statements and allegations, both through Depp and his agent, are false and defamatory. Now, she says in her counterclaim, A.H. seeks a judicial declaration that her op-ed is not actionable because it's protected by Virginia's anti-slap statute. You can look that stuff up, but basically, this is the way all of these people go. They go saying this is all free speech. Speech. That's what it is. Free speech didn't do anything wrong. He's a public figure. All of this is public knowledge. Therefore, even though she is the source that originated it all. A.H. further seeks to restore balance and truth and fight back as a victim of DV and take a stand against the continuing and unrelenting abuse. A.H. seeks compensatory uh, damages and punitive damages from Depp for his false and defamatory statements and for the harassment and abuse of computer and computer access media as set forth in this counterclaim. So, because of all of those accounts out there that we can't prove anything about, yeah, we're going to say... We still, we need damages. Now, the counts that she notes, number one, again, free speech. That's what all of this portion is about. And she's saying, hey, since all of this stuff is covered under free speech, I need my fees and my costs pursuant to Virginia Code. Part two, she talks about defamation and defamation per se. They talk about Adam Waldman. They talk about GQ article. Basically, she's trying to fire back with other things that Johnny Depp has talked about, saying, yeah, you you know, he couldn't do that for me. Count three, oh, this stuff here, violation of the Virginia Computer Crimes Act. That's right. So all of that supposed harassment that's been going on, all of that coordination, oh, that's because Johnny Depp, he's been putting all of that together. And here's what we deserve with it. So A, we have a rehash, free speech. B, declaring that AH is entitled to attorney fees and costs pursuant with code. C, a awarding AH compensatory damages of not more than $100 million, twice the amount Mr. Depp asserted against AH, or in amounts as proven at trial. She wants double what he did because, hey, I'm twice as good. D, awarding AH punitive damages to the amount, maximum extent permitted by law, no less than $350,000 they want on top of that. Awarding costs, including attorney's fees of the trial, and claim and any appeal that are not awarded pursuant to that. So if he appeals it, we want money too. And for the issuance of a preliminary and permanent injunction order, Mr. Depp individually and through his agents to cease and desist from any action. So basically, you need to always cease and desist. You can never talk about me, but hey, I'm going to talk about you. Enjoying Mr. Depp permanently from continuing these actions pursuing of A.H., and awarding A.H. such other and further relief as the court deems just and proper. Give me a million bucks. Give me 350,000 bucks. Give me awards and on and more. 
and more. So to close this out, I want to say thank you for showing up. Thank you for participating. You make these endeavors possible. Without you, none of this stuff works. I truly mean that too. You know, because anyone that complains about stuff, we don't need those folks. We need you showing up. So thank you. Check out our links too. We have a comic book. We have something that our city requires. And man, it looks stylish as well. Check that stuff out. And again, thank you. Appreciate you. And we'll see you soon.